Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today we are going to cover level of detail, which is LOD. What is level of detail? Well, basically, level of detail means that you have multiple models of different quality of detail. So, for example, you have a high, high poly model, and then you also have a low poly model, as in this example, and then you can also have a mid. The purpose for that is basically that anything that is, any object that is close to your camera or to the viewer, you're going to see high quality models and textures. As you get further away from the camera, you really don't need that quality. So, therefore, you produce significantly reduced detailed model and also texture map. Well, here's an example of a weapon that has, has 3,000 polygons, and as you get further away from the camera, you can actually significantly reduce the quality. As you can see here, that this is a high poly, high detailed model, and as you get further away from the camera, this is what you see. Now, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be able to tell that it's a bad model and a you know, not so good texture, but from afar, it doesn't really matter. You see this also in trees and plant life. You're gonna get, when you're close to the object, you're gonna see a high quality model, you can see individual leaves, but as you get further and further away, you're going to see more of a, a flat plane. And you can't tell the difference because of the distance. And you also see it in assets as well. And of course, you see that in characters. When the character is close to the camera, you're going to see that it's high poly, but as you get further and further away from the camera, it turns significantly low. And why do we do this? Well, this is how we actually create vast landscapes. As you can see by the weapon close to the camera and the arms and the gloves, you're going to see some really beautiful detail. But as you get further away, you don't really need that type of information. So you're going to see that the mountains are actually really low poly and anything far in the distance, it's going to be significantly less detail. I'm going to show you how to do this in Maya. So let's get started. So in this example, I already have two vehicles, one's very high poly and the other one's low poly. So as you can see here, we have pretty significant geometry, including treads and everything. For the low poly, it's significantly lower, but in basically it's got the same shape. So the trick to this is to make sure that they're actually right on top of one another. So I'm going to select the high poly and then the low poly, and then I'm going to go to edit, level of detail, group, and it's going to produce an LOD group. So what does that do? Well, as I start pulling away from the camera, it turns into the low poly and then it switches back and forth at a certain distance. And that's the magic of level of detail. Now, if you did a really nice job on your model, the transition should be pretty smooth. Now, theoretically, this car would actually have normal maps and textures and everything. So the transition would actually be a lot smoother, but at least you get the idea. So how do we control how far away this object is or when does it switch? Well, let's go ahead and select the LOD group and let's take a look at the threshold. The threshold is actually Maya units. So we are 36 units and then we'll switch. So if you wanted to do that a little bit further, let's say, I don't know, 100, we can actually get pretty close. And as we start getting further away, it takes about 100 units before it finally switches. If you want it to be a little bit closer, let's say uh, 25 units, you're going to be about 25 units away from the camera before it actually switches. And that's how you control your level of detail. All right, that was a really quick run through on how to create level of details. And I know it was very quick, but hopefully you guys got something out of it. Uh, remember to uh, subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait to see all of your work. I'll see you guys next time.